time to tune into the show We got all you need to know Precious and Camille, they about to go in on these hoes On these hoes On these hoes On these hoes ain't got no chill You know we gon' keep it real On these hoes on these hoes. On these hoes. Man, we been through it, huh? Yes. Time change. All type of shit. I'm Precious. I'm Kamara White. Welcome to another episode of On These Hoes. And we're back in the building. In the building. We made it. Thank right. you. Man. What up, bitch? Millions didn't make it, but we one of the ones that did. <laughs> right. Thank you for the car. That insurance. I done fucked up, boy. No. That should have come catch you. No, mine. Yeah, yeah mine high, too. It's, it's making you, you. want to behave, huh? If you do something. But not, nah, uh, yeah, pretty much. But it's over now. It ain't like it was like. I, was just, I, I didn't even pay the Las Vegas ticket. They sent me some blue card in the mail. <laughs> oh my god! Cause we so don't now, have no warrant out. I'm probably gonna have to. I probably am. Oh my and god. you know what? I ooh, <laughs> you know how much that shit is when you miss court? They charge you seventeen dollars on a on the ten dollar. How can you do that? How can the tax be seventeen dollars and the dollars only ten? So it's like a it's a hundred and seventy penalty mm-hmm. assessment. That's, That's what it's crazy. called. That's crazy. That's what it's called for missing court. But like, it, wasn't it a ticket though? You could have just paid and not went to court. Probably. You don't know what I mean? Probably. <laughs> I like as soon as I got the ticket and we, I lost the ticket. That's why and I was. I thought they were gonna send one in the mail. <laughs> Like, they don't send you a reminder no more? Like, here, ho, you got two more days or what? And you no. got to call them. You can't have them pulling you I up. Am. Shit. I am. I am a fucking bitch-ass cop. Damn. That but shit. That's what them new cars do, though. Like, they... they it be a lot. It bring attention. Just like, I'm going to slap the bitch that sell me here. <laughs> no, because she always charged me 500 nigga. I pulled up in that bin. She going to say, oh, the hair for 750 I said, bitch, that's my nigga car. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't play with me. I come here all the time. Like, don't yeah. shit. That like, price ain't up that damn much. Yeah, I drive this motherfucker through the windshield. <laughs> like you know you just want to say crazy shit when motherfuckers be acting crazy with you. Yeah. Like, that's why you be getting robbed bitch yeah. like <laughs> oh yo <laughs> like, no, I get robbed no I'm just saying that I'm gonna scare you I'm just mad like what the fuck nah for so, real that shit is well, I don't know I'm probably gonna be acting up in my nail play man they do like if you I'm pull up I'm only getting the feel I'm told it should not be that much every time no no I'm telling you they know them Asians know they know us they know women that got it and women that they look Okay, yeah. she know. Oh yes, oh, the, oh no, mm-hmm. too. Oh, you nice. Mm-hmm. This used to be asking you your business. I didn't even get jail on my toe last time. I mean, no, bitch, I ain't get jail. Oh you no, know, I fuck this shit up. down. I fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. I'm not even a girl like that. Like I, I fucks everything up. I can't even really wear white for too long. I do I good. Dirty. I just I don't know. Why. Oh, what you gonna do? You gonna cook for Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe. I'm gonna try to go over somebody's house that cook good. Oh yeah, we will. I probably be at Damo in them house. Okay, they got a big family and they really be cooking, <laughs> like really be cooking. So I'm say, oh, so I went to my auntie's in town, so I went to go see my auntie, and this is what I've been saving for y'all because your daddy, yeah, my daddy's sister. Okay, because she turned eighty, mm-hmm. Halloween, okay. right? And um, she having a big party at the golf, uh, at the golf country club. Oh, they got and, money. It's a golf and club. Pasadena. Because let me tell you, okay, so my auntie has been, remember I told you my auntie has been um, created either Fanta or one like uh, like one of them sodas? Bitch, you know? No, yeah, they, like that's why my daddy used to clown me all the time, like and get mad at me, like everybody fucking geniuses and shit. And I'm like, you you letting the family down. I'm like, it's some other people too. It's not just me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a 50 50. 50 niggas is smart, 50 niggas is letting the family down collectively. So like, so whatever. Um, um, so anyway, you know, she sent her kids, you know, they, they bought it. My cousin Brandon and all them, like, so my cousin Brian, um, went to Stanf- um, uh, Stanford, then ended up going to Princeton and he went to England and worked for the Queen of England because this nigga is a financial person. Advisor. Now he back, he, um, did all the finances for the Dodgers. Damn. Like the whole corporation. Now he, um, he, live here. he worked for himself. He got a $2 million some mansion, $3 million mansion in Pasadena, right? Her son. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he looks on his phone. His phone alerts him, and some white man has broken into his house. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So he calls the police. The police catch the white man in the house. Okay? Arrest him. Catch him red-handed or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I guess after they arrest him, instead of taking him to jail like they take everybody else in the, in the whole fucking world, they took him home. What? <laughs> they took him home. Yeah. So my cousin right now is going to court because the police... Told them they was gonna arrest this man five times. Mind you, he has four daughters under eleven. Okay, 
And I mean, this ain't just no regular neighborhood. This is Pasadena exclusive shit. Nick, his nigga got money. He worked for the Queen of England. But guess what? He's still a nigga. <laughs> they said. We not now, arrested mind you, mm -hmm. um, they didn't been. They they said they was gonna arrest him five times. So for some reason, my cousin was like, "Yeah, uh, he's a uh, he's bipolar, and his family his family must have money. He's bipolar." Hmm. And but guess what? He got a law degree. Ooh. Okay. How you bipolar and got a law degree? Like that nah, don't make sense. I mean, I don't know, but even if maybe you got a law degree and then went bipolar, I don't know. Maybe his parents paid for the law degree. But regardless, nigga, fuck all that. He how the fuck you know how to break in niggas' houses? See, that's right. what I'm saying. They they trying to clog your vision. Like, yeah. okay, fuck, he bipolar, he this, he that, but he's proficient in getting in People's fucking houses. houses. Nice These are two ones. million dollar houses, nigga. Nice you learn ones. how to pick locks or something. What are you doing in your spare time? So, man, man, damn, this so nigga is still not arrested. So my cousin is going to court to be on some. They are not arresting this man. This nigga, do you Does know? Does he live in? A, do they know who? who, do, who? Yeah, he lived down like his down parents. His, his parents is rich down the street, and okay. you know what I'm saying. And this is what the fuck he didn't broke in uh, four other people's houses. But did. I guess because maybe well. I think my cousin pressing the issue because he black. He like fuck that. That's that's some disrespectful shit. And then you gonna what if my daughters is there? And then what type of world we live in where the police shoot niggas and y'all not gonna even arrest this but this man for being in my house? I don't give a fuck. Like, no, for real. like he could go to court. Like, like you know, when you say, "Oh, he's special" and all that, you explain that to the judge. You can't never say nothing once you arrested. Right? No, for real. You supposed to explain that to the judge, and the judge is supposed to see sympathy on you, or the, or the or the people, you know, the, the jury. How old is this boy? He oh he, he old. Okay, okay, I'm just asking. So and they caught him in the house, not leaving the house. Not, right, you did. Not in I the just house. showed you on my phone. So they just made it look like they was taking him. That's why they handcuffed him, took him, and then just took him out. But I can't wait to get the details because I want to ask my cousin: Did he even get to the station? Because if he didn't get to the station, then them police is on payroll. So you had this nigga mama number, and you just called and took him home. Probably if they in the neighborhood. No. That's fucked up. No, that's too much. Because, see, I, at least I would feel better if they took him to the station and then people was like, oh, that's homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the station knew, like, not just they got all these individual police got their cell phone number and then they just, you know, taking this nigga. Like, footage. You know I have the cameras on everything. It's not fair. It's not fair. That's not, that's not protocol. It's not. Like, how the fuck do you not follow protocol? They like, like they don't even give a fuck. Like, it's the police. Like, these motherfuckers, these white people be so powerful, the police do what they say. Like, you supposed to, what about your job, son? Motherfuckers don't even want to give me an extra sauce. Like I was saying. <laughs> like, y'all not, y'all niggas not scared of nothing. Oh, accidental shooting. Oh, oh, my bad. I put a nigga in jail for 25 years. Oh, we falsify, falsify evidence. Yeah, it's not okay. Like, they'll show, like, I be watching these stories where they'll show these black men that did 25 years on some false shit and say, oh, the detective uh, did the report and all this kind of stuff. You don't never hear the next story. Where the fuck is the detective? Mm -hmm. And why the fuck he not charged with... Being Something. an asshole and, and lying and shit. Yeah, they just releasing the people. Yeah. And then when you release me, you can't just release me, nigga. I, I want blood. I spent 25 years in a box and you just going to say, oh, we, you know what? My bad. I'm sorry. Woo! Sometimes players fuck up. No, nigga. <laughs> no. I and want my life back. And even the biggest settlement still take away your gear nigga, still nigga, gone. Nigga, the, nigga, the police department would have to throw me a prom. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I swear to God. I need a street name after me. All that. Like what? <laughs> Shit. Dude, we need a stipend for every day. They don't even know me. I'm mad right now. Everybody be talking about, oh, uh, they want reparations from slavery and shit. And everybody like, what? Well, uh, I, I personally think that I was supposed to be a queen. <laughs> like they didn't just just <laughs> take true. anybody. You know, queen, you know, people of royalty don't run fast. I feel like if, if my people wouldn't have got taken right there, I probably would have been princess of Uganda. And I'm mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody need to give us some reparations for it, that. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. Nah, it ain't nah. enough. Like, nah, I'm just saying, like, so it's just, I'm I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I feel like we be having to, you know, anything that goes wrong, they make us pay for it. Man. I don't care. Anything. Yeah. Like, anything. Like, just like, you know, we were talking last week about that other, the Travis Scott shit. It's like, the, every, we have to, we are responsible for everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, what yo. We say what we do, everything. Yeah, yeah. But they can run up in the damn government buildings and nothing. And it's stories like this all the time. It was, it, this, it was this white kid that was hanging out with these gangs. And because his daddy had money, he was like, oh, he was the only one that didn't go to jail. And they was all doing drive-bys and shit like that. He was pretending to be hard and just all kind of stuff. Like, that's not cool. Man, it's like, That's not cool. Mm -hmm. Like, so, especially when I just... It's somebody's whole life, fool. Yeah, and then especially when... You don't when, know how long they got. When motherfuckers is doing real crime, like crime that crippled the whole economy of America, crime where niggas got to bail out the bank. Man. How you steal so much money that like, the banks got to get bailed out? And you don't go to jail for that. 
I know niggas that was we on the way to a bank robbery and went to jail. Because <laughs> look, so how we in that deep, but you know. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, like now nah, you're right. It's not but, fair. Then they bailed the banks out, and then the people that bought the fake, fake homes, they lost out. It's just like, oh, saying, sorry, America push- worked you. It's too much. We don't even know. I mean, that's why I wish we just really knew. Our, like you said, I wish we knew our history. Who has really to go knows. to court to put a motherfucker in jail that broke in your house? That's crazy. That was inside. Like, it's, it's yeah. so, like, nigga, it's not that's getting crazy. better. It's, <laughs> yeah, right, it's getting worse, actually. And that's why we got to start tuning shit out. You know what I'm saying? We have to tune all the noise out. Sometimes shit. you just need to get away from the TV, from the news, from, you know, even everything. So. Mm-hmm. That's why we want to shout out one of our sponsors today, Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Hey. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, it's so much going on in the world. You know, whether it's all this stuff that's just driving everybody up the wall, you know, stuff you don't want to think about. You know, you can always just control the vibes with the Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Um, actually, you know, they're wireless, so you don't have, they, right, they fit right in your ear like a nice little, yeah, uh, you know like what I'm saying? It. Just sit like a little pocket, like some nice jeans. Ooh, just fit, good fit. And if your hair alone, nobody will know. Yep, that is true, because I never see us in there. She's so going to be at work listening. I don't need those. I don't need those. <laughs> and they have an improved rubber oil look and feel. You know what I'm saying? It's real smooth. You know what I'm saying? I Like we said, it fits right in there. Perfect little gel tips for the in-ear fit. And they are impressive before you even start listening. So, you get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best with just the right, right amount of bass. You got the pure mode. You got the balance mode. You got the bass mode. So, you know, you're going to go pure when you're listening to your podcast balance you know what i'm saying with the podcast listening or the heavy rock you know what i'm saying and the bass mode for your hip-hop and your edm music you know so basically raycons start at half the price of other premium audio brands but they sound just as good but we think better you know what i'm saying so they come back with a 45-day guarantee so make sure you get yours and you get eight hours of play time and a 32-hour battery life hey, so i just wear one at a, a time yeah, you yeah, know because yeah. if you wear one even if it go out, you can just yeah throw in the other one. You know what I'm saying? That's how shit works. You know what I'm saying? I had left mine. <laughs> this is crazy. And right now, Raycon, um, is, you know, well, right now on these hoes are offering our listeners 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash ODH. That's B-U-Y. Raycon, R A Y C O N dot com slash O D H. That's by Raycon dot com and you can get 15%. So get however many you want because you're going to get 15% off that whole order. Right. And make sure you support Raycon Wireless Earbuds because when you support our sponsors, you support these hoes. On these hoes. And he's a black business. I'm proud of Ray. Yeah, yeah. He's I'm been doing of, a bunch. He had a little stopped. scooty bike was cool. A little scooty bike. Yeah, he got the school bikes. He got that. He got what? He got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like he, That's what I'm saying. He never stopped moving. I'm glad. Because some people, they still talking about. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, like <that. laughs> I like him better as an entrepreneur. I don't like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but at least he ain't just out here like, give me all my props. You know how like yeah. pretty Rick and them, they be out here and we did all this with him. Y'all quit though. Like this dude kept going. He got shit. Pretty Ricky is the strangest group I've ever seen. I don't know if it was them or somebody else. They was like, give us our flowers like, or something. Make no, pre- nigga, what? <laughs> like, I heard, I heard, like, the sh- the, the world is going to shit. I heard Sh- Ashanti was the new queen of R&B. Hmm. That's what they said. They finna give her, like, a, a award or something for achieving, to learn how to sing the word baby. I'm dead. <laughs> a million times in different tones. <laughs> <but> just... <laughs> She's stupid as hell. Learn okay, so. No, but no, that's good. Um, Me and Precious, uh, we're gonna we finna stop. fix the world. Mm-hmm. Cause mm-hmm. I, I came up with the like I, I just like I feel like certain things will make the world better and I don't know I don't know what's going on but I feel like we need an agenda like we, niggas need to agree on something and just mm-hmm. cause everybody got they prop oh, I want to help this one like like nigga we need like a help together like we don't need all this side shit cause that's why things are getting broken off in the sections and then we don't have enough power to fight right so yep facts. I think like you said we got to figure out what 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 exactly are we gonna do cause we can. Recognize the problem clearly, but like when what's night name was on there, you don't have no like what we gonna do to fix it. Like mm-hmm. we come together and do what? Like we don't um, we march and some stuff get approved, you know. Well, so they say, and it does. It has been proven there. But what else you gonna do? Well, I'm kind of, kind of, I'm, 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 do? I'm seriously like when them white people got mad and they attacked the Capitol building. That shit like really pissed me off because I'm like, what the fuck y'all mad at? <laughs> like, even, <laughs> like even if y'all didn't get the president y'all want this time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all spoiled as fuck, nigga. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, I mean, so if anybody should be attacking the Capitol, nigga, 
It's us because it, not only on the state level are we being disrespected, nigga, the feds, the government said that we should not be being fucked up like this. Like, the government said, you know what I'm saying, free niggas. The government said equal rights. The government said, the government said, but when it, it comes, comes to, to enforcing that, With y'all don't even have our back. And I feel like if the federal government is not going to have black people's back, then what are we doing here? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because that Maybe we don't have nobody else to, to go to. Maybe we're not supposed to. No, but we don't have nobody else to go to. So if that's the case, that that's like but that's like right. living under a regime that's never gonna help. Like I'm, I, I I don't want my kids, kids, and kids, kids to live here and still be fucking marching. Right. If I see my great great grandkids marching, I'm gonna fucking come down here with a lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding no, me? No, for real. No, we do need to figure it out, y'all, because it's not okay. They would have shot every last one of them black people running. That's what I'm now. saying. Sharp shooting. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just like. It's like they'd have shot the nigga well, that was in my cousin's right. house if he would have been black. Probably so. They don't care about if you special. You just special. That my brother right now locked up because he's special. But How about that? He, but you know, they he said really he's incompetent smart. to stay in court. Okay, but they still took him to jail. I'm like, well, well, what does that mean? Just leave him in here. What's the plan? What's the fucking plan? Like, <laughs> like he got to stay. He got to get. Like he been here so long. Whatever he did, probably. He probably didn't serve this time. No, but for real. that's a whole nother story. But what I'm saying no, is real. that, like, yeah. It's part of it, though. Yeah, but then y'all just say, oh, he's special. He could go. No, that's not cool. So um, not cool. I think, number one, I think, you know, we have to we have to really, like, go hard on the federal government. We have to make changes, like, for real, with these laws and be serious as fuck. Cause, like, like, I feel can... like niggas should go on strike. Like, all niggas. Like, right now, just, like, we should pick a date and just strike. Niggas, niggas stay home. Niggas, 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 we stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> and no, and that sounds like a great plan, just like we wanted the blackout day and all that stuff. But at the same time, you know how much people, some people make that they not going to do that, you know? Just because they like... I just feel like we got enough rich we, people. We should. Every time y'all make a look at Trevor, he look at what he did. He want to pay for people funeral shit. Look, when we do the nigga strike, pay for niggas to help. Like, we got to help each other. I could, a couple of niggas come to my house, I make tacos. <laughs> <laughs> because we got to let them know we... I don't want to pay taxes to a state... That's not that, my people. It like, doesn't you know care saying? if we live or die. Yeah, like, we're know. paying for this shit. Like, we're paying for the police to whip our ass. We're paying for these motherfuckers, doctors to come in here and tell us we all right. And we fucking going home dying and shit. We paying for <sighs> all of this shit. And when is it going to stop? Because I feel disrespected. Like, at the end of the day, black people have contributed a lot to this country. We done made y'all fucking money. We, like, like we the reasons that rules. people come into games and this and that. Like, everything we do makes y'all money, nigga. Martin Luther King, he making marks like all, all our whole history book is filled with shit we didn't did. But stop then, acting but like then we if you disposable. don't do it, they don't want them. It's like they'll take it out from you. Like, but we not disposable. We contribute yeah. more to this country than anybody. But I mean, this is the world we've been living in. That's what I'm saying. We got to figure out what we really can do. Cause like get and get really get everybody on board. Cause some people are like you know how much I make. I ain't going on no. I gotta pay this. I gotta. do But that. in the like, end, it's gonna mess you up. That's the whole thing. Like you can't so you let. Be everybody that's why thing. everybody is turning the other yeah. cheek because nobody wants their shit to be fucked up. But this hmm. shit is serious. It really is. Like this shit is serious. Like to the point where a nigga could break into your house and not even get arrested because of favor. But then, but then, you know what I'm saying? But then a, a white person going to the wrong house and shoot a nigga. What the fuck? Like, this is too much. It's like, it's like, I can't. Like, I can't. So I'm just saying, like, I just, and then another thing I was saying, I think that, um, I think that the police to, to... should, we, we should request that black police officers police our neighborhoods. Hmm. And the reason why I say that is because when you black, you know the difference between a little, a, like a little, little boy, a little, my, like my little nephew, then a thug. Mm-hmm. But white people think they that y'all, Even you know what I'm saying? They scared of everybody. Fall, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But when you when you black, mm-hmm. you know, oh, this a hood nigga. This and it would make them more comfortable too, probably in your neighborhood, make you more comfortable. And you're not gonna kill a motherfucker that looks like you. You know what I'm saying? But at least you're gonna try your hardest not to. Like that's it would have to saying. come down to that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like the neighborhood would get more close. They could they could walk around, introduce themselves, you know, all that. All that. We could become a community, but I'm not about to I can't live like this no more. I can't. Mm-hmm. Right. Or you can just rightfully do that, and people really do have. I'm families. a law-abiding citizen. When they pull me over, I feel like I'm trafficking dope. No, <laughs> like I really no, be for like, real. No, and if you don't have nothing on you, you feel like that. Like, damn, I got Ooh. a kilo in the trunk. <laughs> like, I don't. You don't have a kilo in the trunk, come here. I promise you, you don't. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> but if they feel like you do today, you shoot. No, for real. And it's not okay. So, um, I feel like I thought that there was an internal affairs, but I feel like there's not because. Every police officer that gets caught doing something. It goes to internal affairs. No, right? they always say they got a long record that nobody looked at. Is there really an internal oh, affairs? Oh, yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. Like, are mm. police getting held accountable? 
Or because it, it got to be somebody in that department everywhere. No, fuck that shit. Every job you have, you held accountable, nigga. Mm -hmm. If your register is five dollars short, they fire you from that. These you killing people, and it's just like go to work the next day. <sighs> just come in a little late. Just work at the desk. Like what the fuck, y'all fucking up. These is people. But some of them, I, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Like, know. come on. Come on. It's going to get better. Hopefully. Well, we keep, we got to hope the way we got to hope, you know, that, I don't know. Anyway, it's just crazy because I just, I don't know. I got on one this morning because. That's your real people. One so of the, and one of the police in. officers, like, because of this COVID shit, they making all the county workers take the vaccine. And they don't, it takes so much for police to get fired, right? But they just firing these niggas on the spot because of this COVID shit. So they were showing the police officer talking. He was like, I don't care. I'm, I don't care. I, you know, I love being a police, but I'm not taking the COVID test. And the way they was like, all on Kyrie. They all on Kyrie, but Aaron Rodgers didn't even say he didn't get the vaccine. At least Kyrie was like, I'm not getting it. I'm not doing it. Aaron that's didn't what they say do. No, Just like, know. we witnessed that firsthand with our friend. Like, that's what they do. And it's, it's, it's really starting to be so noticeable now. And it's just like, I don't want to be here. Man, sir. Isn't we Like, we can't even put in the, like, who do we say help? Nigga, can we call Africa? Because we can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, when they took us, y'all to come get us, nigga. We need y'all to come get us now. This is some bullshit. They don't like, even like us now, right? Because we over here and we didn't even choose to be. Man, <laughs> Africa should have came and got us. <laughs> Africa should have came and got us. Let some niggas come to your country. Y'all just your let niggas take up us. and then we gone. Some bullshit. We got to blame them. <laughs> Man, they should at least did a, a drive-by. How did our people not stay? <laughs> it's what we need to be asking. What happened with our people? Why did we have to go? I already know my ass it was lazy somewhere to eat a mango. <laughs> I'm talking, who are you? Get, bitch, get up, bitch. Mango time over. You feel me? I already know how I got caught. No, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what was we doing, man? Dang. Shit, I probably was fucking one of these niggas that wasn't in the palace, bitch. You know how my ancestors are. Shit. My mom probably told me, don't, don't you leave the palace and go fuck with him. I love him. <laughs> you went in away. Yeah, I went anyway. And it was over. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Well, y'all gonna have to take y'all some magical stuff too, so y'all can make it. I don't need hoes. I don't need hoes. So we have to shout out our every week sponsor, Nico Kitchen Shop. Woo! Black owned, operated. You know what I'm saying? Straight out the warehouse, shipping them out, working, working hard for these hoes and for all of you. She said for us too. Who support. She, that bitch healthy. She said she felt like we was unhealthy and she didn't want to be in the world without black people. <laughs> she said, I don't need to save these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you always be getting fucked up. So uh, take a shot of this before mm -hmm. you um, kick it off. And that's exactly what it's about, y'all. Consistency is key when using products like Seamouse and the Holy Water. Um, you can sign up for reoccurring orders to save time and money while keeping your health first. So basically, you can get it in any form you want. You know what I'm saying? Where it come like the little applesauce, like, you know, <laughs> Camira does not like, but where you can take just a spoonful, throw it in your little shake, you know what I'm saying? Or... Even in your tea, like even in the water, if you put it in the holy water, you can heat up the holy water like tea and drop a little spoonful and you don't even... And that will have you at the bathroom. <laughs> but it is really good for you. They have the gummies. You know the sea mouse has 92 of the 101 minerals that our body needs. You know what I'm saying? So just popping those gummies like a quick little multivitamin, it keeps you going, get your energy up, it really does, get your yeah. skin looking good. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we want y'all to subscribe because we want y'all to like, you know, really be on it. But if you need to chill, they work with you with that. But they are offering 20% off reoccurring orders for the lifetime of your subscription. So even if you pause your subscription, it still counts. You know what I'm saying? So you can get it even bi-weekly, monthly, weekly, however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Or you can skip a month. All you have to do is go to NicoKitchenShop.com and select reoccurring deliveries in the menu. Yep. And, and use our code ODHTV. ODHTV. Yes. Um, they had a soap. You know what I'm saying? They so had a chakras that represent the different chakras um it's really good for your skin and stuff too that's the good thing about stuff when it's natural you can use it on everything you yeah, know yeah. your hair you can drink that's, you can eat it true. you can do this like it's that healthy so make sure y'all follow um nicokitchenshop.com get the egyptian water mango Yes, all the different flavors. And they had a new little package now, too. You say the little one size package they got. So oh, it's just okay. like real, real convenient. I just know she got the new flavors. Oh, and them gummies is good, girl. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, y'all don't got to, you know, my little ass. <laughs> you don't eat nothing nasty. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Don't buy more than two. Come here. <laughs> they good. No, for real, y'all. Make sure you check it out. Everybody's talking about it. You can read the reviews for yourself. These hoes ain't lying. Right. Um, Nico Kitchen Shop. Make sure you support our sponsors because when you support Nico, you support these, these hoes. hoes. On these hoes. On these hoes. 
Okay, so what so, type of critique of the world you got? What's your one? Uh, I can't critique the world. I can't critique me. I'm still fucking up. You know, I don't know. But I think, like you said, we do need to come together and all that. I think it would be a lot easier if um we just had more good men in the world, you know, as well as women. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I think we're more honest and open and just, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> being on some... Because a lot of times men be going through shit and they don't even tell us, you know. We just have to. You being nice, because I was going to say, nigga, we need to have that law like they have in China. In China, and if you're African, you can only have two Chinese bitches. That's the law. Or two key. Right? No, two Chinese bitches at a time. Because I guess them Africans was going over there. <laughs> and, and they would say, them Chinese bitches must have been losing their body. Because Shut up. China made a goddamn law. And you can it says, if you are African and Chinese, you can only have two bitches. They I sick of y'all. They only had two kids. No, two bitches. Guess- that's the two kid laws for them. But that's the two bitches is for African men. We could go, nigga, I swear. I'll never forget that fact. They just I said, look, these niggas is hoes all over the world. That's what I was thinking. The damn, well, every, the whole every, China every had to tell these niggas, you time. not finna hold all these bitches out. You can only have two bitches. <laughs> damn. Two <laughs> per you. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> only two. Damn. So, yeah, so, mm-hmm. um, no, but. No, I don't know. I think we just, I don't know. Let me say my whole world view. When they was talking about Summer Walker and how she got worked in the contract. Oh, yeah, I was reading about that. I was thinking about how, you know, because they always, like, we get punished for doing crime. Now, black people do crime, like, they get a gun, run up in places, shit like that. Because we, you know, some people do white-collar crime, but most of the time it's that. You get punished hella hard for that. Mm-hmm. But these motherfuckers will contract work, work you. with a contract, and this is You COVID. robbing them, too. It's yeah. robbery. Like, at the end of the day, we need to fight for stuff like that. Like, just and because it's white-collar don't mean it's, like, what the fuck y'all but, getting over? Yes, and I, I didn't know it was still like that with so many rappers. You know how Meek Mill spoke out not too long ago about how much, you know, he made. He don't know how much he actually made off this or some. I forgot it was some article, but I'm like, I thought by now, you know, the way they rap about owning your own this and doing that, that, I, that they would know they numbers with the people. But this is why the same contract help. And then you got to think about it. These lawyers, you got to see. We they don't know even know the game. We just start getting in the game. We really was tied down for a long time. Like we, you know, like well, well we at a point now where we can get a lawyer to at least look yeah, over but, it. Yeah, but but you got to understand, lawyers lawyers see the bigger picture. Why would they tell you all the shit if when they they, they getting make- paid to not tell us all? The shit mm. and then these black lawyers don't know all the shit they think they're giving us a good deal but they they forget about the dvd sales and it isn't that we just got in this game yeah. we only three four generations in free really so we like we don't even know like these motherfuckers been robbing banks since motherfucking wells fargo and on on fucking horses you gotta understand this world been been, yeah. been mm-hmm. doing a lot of shit you know so what I'm they saying? Know how to do it. They're up on game yeah. with a lot of shit. And we don't, we think we know shit, but no, we, we was, don't know shit. We yeah. was just serving it. We don't know. We just got up here. You're right. So at the end of the day, they're working us. And that's why I say you have to watch every fucking thing. Like, but I but think that should be because even the bank. It should everything. be against the law. It should be against the law. You should not prey on people that but are uneducated. You ones. should not pray. You should not like just like how you can't do a limit no. law. Like if your car break down three times, like they can't sell you buckets and shit. Yeah. Like, why the fuck it can't be a law where they cannot sell you an upside down contract? Hmm. Like that's fucked up. Like Cause it, they know we're not gonna sit there and read all that. They know that you just going through signing. Like and fucking that's why they TLC got rad fours. Shut up. Like I'm just saying. No, nah, no, yeah, I'm saying ridiculous yeah. shit. Blatant robbery. Just no because way. because look how much they worth. Though, and then no and then it's it's y'all fault. It's these kids don't even got school books to say Barack in them or nothing. All these school books is fucking outdated. Like how you gonna want them? How you gonna not? How you gonna charge a motherfucker for not being smart when the whole government ain't even at. bringing niggas this right shit? That's what I'm mad at. Like even if they if they did bring us here, whatever we had to come. However we got whatever we should at least be learning about it. We should have been learning about us. That like we should have been learning should, our that history. That, that should have been a at least they put in place a long time ago. No, for real, for real. Because that's like even allow that's black crazy. people to be educated. Like what do we? And now know. you want us to be smart and know all this stuff, right? Like, like what do we even remember? Like they said, curfews and shit. Niggas didn't even know how to read. <sighs> oh, if you out at seven o'clock, you want to just like nigga. Like I'm just saying, it's a lot of stuff that we didn't think about. You know what I'm saying? And I think that we need even, to think about this stuff because right. on every end we getting robbed. We paying taxes. We doing this. We we doing this. We doing that. And, and even now, I heard they even putting like get the vaccine and like. Sesame Street, like on, on on different shit, like you know, trying to talk the characters in the, telling you to get the, like it's, they just telling us everything, fool, and it's crazy. Why we gotta? I don't know. We just stuck. I, that's why I'm like, is it really an answer? Because you can't go to nobody because they part of it. You know, nah, but it's just not fair. They make it seem like shit. This is what happens when you do this. No, it's not because you took that nigga home and you just like <laughs> this shit is upside. It's crazy. Like and if the if the government if the if the if the federal government is not going to get control of this shit. Then I don't want to live in a country like this, where I don't know. 
Or it's up and down. Or like, I'm, just the, you I'm get. just the only target. I'm it's the just, only enemy. I'm just the only nigga getting audited. What the fuck? They only be auditing niggas. Niggas ain't even got no money to get audited. I can't believe y'all wasting y'all auditors, even if we is lying. <laughs> what the fuck? This motherfucker <laughs> made off stealing $84 million out the bank. Nigga, y'all giving it to him. You know we broke, G. Why you Giving him wire transfers out for money he don't even have. And y'all making us wait two weeks for a $700 check. Man. They will hold your shit. Like, Madoff was going in the bank and he was like, the wire come and just give me the money. And they would. Millions and millions. But you holding my $700 check? It's the world we live in. Stuff, that's why I'm, I can't. It's too, I, I, it's too stressful. It's like, I'm be. paying to if live here. here. Right now, but if you're here right now, it's got to be for something. No, like you I'm just paying gotta, to live here. Like, we got to stop looking. I mean, this, it's horrible. All this shit is horrible. But we got to start looking on the bright side of shit. Otherwise, we'll be mad all day, all day and night. We've we been trying to look up, at the bright side. Day, we do. We be trying to do us. And then here they come again. <laughs> But I'm telling you. <laughs> like, God damn. <laughs> nah, we got to find we gotta find something in it, fool. Like, because otherwise oh. we'll just be, you know, another just super angry. We would just be out here angry. Because what are we going to do? Well, once I get a little older, guys, because you know I know how to talk that shit. You going to change? I, no, I'm going I'm to I'm be like a, a civil rights activist. The only reason why I won't do it now because they going to catch me at the weed spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna disgrace these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, you I might they tripping up. There? I might be at the street. Who, bitch, I do crazy shit. <laughs> okay, I think no, but you would be a good leader. I like, you know, fucking be like, like but what? We, yeah, I don't want to be like Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Love Childs and shit. And he hate Barack. He, no. They take, no, they take him hating on Barack. He hated Barack. Oh, motherfucking nigga! Like nigga, really, Re really, Jesse. And then the ni other nigga is worse. Al Sharpton. You that still line. got a perm. <laughs> you cannot be serious about civil took, rights. The picture he took on the internet. Oh you have God. a perm, so that means you still think you a nappy-headed jigaboo. Oh you not God. even woke. <laughs> you like, please perm this nappy <laughs> shit. Nigga, what the fuck? Ow. This your roots, Ow, nigga. Ow, wake up. <laughs> We're out here looking like you finna Ow, hit a slow jam. He when he said, I don't care. We're going. Every sure. time I see that nigga, I think he gonna go, ooh-wee, ooh-wee. Ooh <laughs> I'm dead. Fucking ass. <laughs> But the good anyway. thing about him, at least he, he didn't, he just the same little, little Al Sharpton, you know? I don't know. <laughs> you got to keep your size and yourself together. You know what I'm saying? I and that's know. why we got Hello Fresh hey. <laughs> as another sponsor of today's On These Hoes. And you know, it's starting to get winter. You know, we want the chili. We want the, it's the stew. We want all that. And it's nothing better than cozying up with a confident home-cooked meal. Yep, recipes like, you know, chicken ramen and shui style broth and turkey ragu. You know, they make it a no-brainer to skip on paying on takeout. And that's why HelloFresh will come right in handy. It isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features a variety of add-ons for breakfast, desserts, seasonal snacks like Pillsbury pumpkin dough cookie. Cookie dough, y'all my bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, ain't never had that. I know that sounds good, don't it? <laughs> Pillsbury pumpkin cookie dough. Sure. But HelloFresh does offer the flexibility when you need to easily customize your order um, on the app within minutes. So you can change your delivery day, your food preference, your plan size, or skip a week when you need to. So HelloFresh makes it really easy for you and the holidays even easier. Your weekly delivery is made to help you cut back on meal prep and clean up. And the limited edition holiday boxes deliver everything you need to cook up a family feast. No planning necessary. So if you don't feel like, you know, doing the most, you know what I'm saying, hit up HelloFresh so they can help you. Okay. Um, it can't be beat in value, even at full price. It's over 30% cheaper than grocery stores. So um, we love HelloFresh. It comes with the exact, like, if you're doing pasta, it got the exact stuff you need mm -hmm. for that with the onion, with the everything. So, And you know what? It's good for your, for your older family members, too. Like, if yes. your grandparents and stuff can't get back and forth to the store, but they can still cook and stuff like that, you can just have it delivered to their house, and then it's fucking fresh. You know, well, it's HelloFresh fresh. is, you Super know, fresh. good for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you know, por proportional and all that. So that's what we do for my auntie. So Yep, you can let them know, you know, how many people you know you yeah. see whether it's the two the four whatever and all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com slash odh14 and use code odh14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts yep that's hellofresh.com slash odh14 and use our code odh14 to get 14 free meals you know that's a lot we eat three meals a day you know what i'm saying you can yes. really ball out with that so um if you um 
So basically, yeah, support HelloFresh. And remember, when you support HelloFresh, you are also supporting these hoes. <laughs> okay. I was looking at something that said we should have included. Let me see. Green Chef Partnership. If you've worked with we can't work with them. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, but yeah, so try to keep it together, y'all. We got our Hello Fresh. We got our Raycon to tune these people out. We got Nico to keep us healthy. We just trying to do whatever we can because it's clearly a war. We you know. Well, on. yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, like, I'm I'm so over, you know, I hate, you know, I I, I just I'll be tired of marching, I'll be tired of fighting, I'll be tired of all that shit, but you know, I see why our parents and shit made it a full time job because that, this shit is serious. Like we can't mm -hmm. just go back Make to sleep it. and then something happened and then now we back up marching and then go back. Like this shit is like ongoing. Yeah. Like and it's serious and we gotta like all do the shit. Like if you feel discriminated against, you need to go write a report a report mm -hmm. uh, against the police. You know what I'm saying? If you feel whatever, however it is, like we all have to take action. Like it's crazy. Like it's just yeah, it's yeah, out of control yeah. and it's not fair. And we need to support each other too, you know, like we said, because some people are gonna be like, nah, I can't do that, I gotta do this. But yeah, we gotta all stick together. A lot of times we don't do that till it hit home, you know. Mm -hmm. And that ain't cool either. So we gotta do it, y'all, but we gotta uplift y'all because yeah, we know it's bad stuff going in the world. So anyway, what we gonna do? Um <laughs> <laughs> These hoes hit the capital. These hoes hit the capital. No. <laughs> These hoes coming to a city near you. No. I just think, I don't know, I just think that maybe. Like, we should have, like, certain groups, like, maybe, Influences. like, a group of black lawyers mm -hmm. go over the criminal law mm -hmm. and see, you know, what stuff is unfair and what stuff is fair. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, I, I mean, Like, it's really just, come together and try to figure yeah. it out and what we can do to, like, we know yeah. they can't, we can't be paid back for all the stuff, but we can at least come to something where it's, like, where it makes sense and, like, it's not just written down and not enforced, you know? And it's more than, know. it's more than, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, like, I just don't get, like, I just feel like... But it has to be good people, and it is good people. You know what I'm saying? It really is. So we have to just know that it is some that are right. You know, like um, I, I just feel like at what point is America really like 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 the government really gonna step up and be like, no, this is some bullshit. We've been like, it's like, do y'all really care? Like, do y'all really feel bad? Do you see how many people are getting killed off with all the stuff that's, that's going what I'm on? Saying. Not it's just, just like, the yeah. you know, but the the kind of COVID he had everything. You know, just um, like we we get killed off in in big in big numbers and. No, they don't care. Cause you know I what? Cause it's gonna cause life's gonna keep going with or without us. I would feel so why would so they bad. care about us? I would feel no. so bad if I was a white person. Yeah. When I see no, black people, I'd be like, no. But it's not everybody. <laughs> you guys are doing well. <laughs> like, for, like for real. Like this is like we're fucked not. up. Like we're fucked up. Like when you think about it, that shit is horrible. Like, and then it's crazy how they portray us in the news and shit like that. Like, like y'all horrible. Horrible. <laughs> like, so it's just, I don't know. But it is good in everything. It's some good, you know, just like it's some bad black people, it's some good white people. It really is. Everybody is not. But a lot of them in the positions we in don't know what to do but either. It, you know? Even if they're good, yeah, they're still going to go with the party. Well, like, that's just how it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. making them money. Yeah, like, America's yeah. greedy. Like, when I went to Dubai and how they take care of their people, remember I told you, like, they... So even if we went to Dubai, they ain't going to take care of us? No, I know they're not going to take care of us, but I'm saying... I'm saying, like, they ain't going to... I think the reason why America is so fucked up is because, like, when you have different countries, everybody from that country is 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 them. Like, Japan is Japanese. China is Chinese. Like, you know, the Arabs are whatever. Like, so, but in America, it's a melting pot. So that's why the government... Can needs do to work overtime to make sure that we're all functioning as Americans. Hmm. Because a lot of people are going to hate a lot of people. Right. Because this is the different. United States. That's why it's called, yeah. So, bitch, boss up. Make it the United States. Like, you, like these niggas is punking you. They taking over the Capitol. True. Like, at the end of the day, like, y'all so scared of us rising up. We Y'all showing us that y'all, look, y'all some pussies. Like, I mean, like, that's what y'all, that's how y'all handle motherfuckers coming to the Capitol. Like I'm just saying, like, come on, bro. Like, them, people gonna them. be out of control. Yeah. You going the whole world gonna be out of control if you don't if you don't figure it out. Cause it's gonna be some niggas like, oh fuck that. If they gonna do it, or we gonna do it. We more oppressed than them. What they just think? mad. This nigga what? ain't in office. They lost an election and like? did that shit. That's petty, nigga. We be losing lives and we don't do that daily. But you know, it's what it's the world we live in, fool. It's the world we live in. Then some of them. That's what I'm saying. We be looking at it in our thing, but these people in the upper. I'm glad. I don't know. Did you watch the Kanye interview on on the? Uh, no, but I'm just saying. Kanye? I just feel like America's sick of everybody. They have a. They have that. They they just did an Asian hate thing, like and Asians don't even be getting hated on like that. They winning out here, 
and, it, and I remember with George Floyd. They, they did at least. I mean, you know, no, they're, they're getting something. Asian hate because that nigga caught the uh, the the the, the, fl- the uh, COVID, the Asian flu. So a lot of motherfuckers is mad that I thought they was really now they was really attacking them uh, some of them Asians or something. Something happened with the women or something. Well, yeah, and they I know in Atlanta, but they're doing that because they're yeah. mad at COVID. So people whose yeah. families died of COVID, they feel like the Asians are the one who who made it. Hmm. So, but that's that's homeboy fault, right? But at the end of the day, like y'all made a law that quick, like that quick to help them, and it's not even that many. Like, and in our community, Asians fuck with us. You don't see all our movies when they be like, hurry up and buy, hurry up and buy. Like at the end of the day, they shot the little girl from Orange Juice, nigga. They tear, they turn up. Nobody is stopping to hate the niggas. You talk about a, you talk about a, 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 a lesbian, oh shit, a gay person, oh shit. You say nigga. Nobody fucking shuns them. Nobody fucking cancels the people that say nigga. It's us, man. It's the way we a man say. Like, they took that nigga home, bro. We should be protesting the fucking police station right now. What kind of shit is this? Like, he should, nah, for real. It should be out. You can't he do had nothing. to go to court for the police to put him in jail. That's like, they, the police, like, whatever. They like, how can they home. do that? That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all just let these people disrespect y'all whole girl. Like, nobody's, they don't care. If I, if you want to spend your life in jail if you go do anything to him. You know that's what I'm saying? saying. Yeah. Like, and, and look, my cousin could have did that. Yeah. My cousin could have drove home and shot that fool. You know what I'm saying? And people and need to think. His whole and guess what? Himself. And yeah. if you're not going to defend him, he should defend himself. What the fuck? So I'm just saying, I don't, I, I don't know what to do. You don't protect us. You don't defend us. We still paying y'all. I don't want to work here. Nah, for real. I don't want to give my money this. to y'all. Gotta do this. Yeah, y'all I'm take like, our shit off the top, too. Like, we don't even get no black discount. We can't... Cotton should be free, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> everything cotton. Our drawers, shirts, t-shirts. At, at the least. Real. Everything. Cotton candy. Everything cotton <laughs> should be... Nah. But in we, the perfect world, it would be. But this is just where we get with it. This is our destiny shit. We can't just sit up and cry, but we got to try to do something or make the best of it. And that's all you got to do because we ain't got no choice. We, we just wasn't smart enough to really put the laws in effect when they first freed us that we needed. But that we should, they should, we shouldn't have to pay land tax. Know. Imagine being no a type certain of tax, type of way your whole time. Imagine being a certain way your whole type of time. Now, if all of a sudden, you making this change. Like, you don't know everything. You no, I know. And, and the people you know? that let you go ain't your friend. They're not right. going to make it's it easy like for you. Tell you the truth. That's what right. I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's why it's like this Anyway, that's why like our yeah. generational wealth, our everything. But my whole thing is like, Once we should know. not have to pay taxes. Yeah. We this country is indebted to us. We shouldn't have to pay shit. Not what are we paying taxes for? The way y'all worked us and shit. What the why? We no. we paid them. <laughs> Do pay. Like, so I'm just. Ugh. Right. That's why every time they ask but me for directions, I give them the wrong ones. <laughs> so where you going? If you can go anywhere, they like, all right, you can leave. You know, you hate it. Where you going? Okay, okay. I'm glad you asked me this because I've been thinking. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I feel like they should do some shit like they did for the Indians, but I don't even want to be on the United States. I'm thinking nigga island. Come with me. Come with me, pressure. Nigga island. Nigga island. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful tropical. Mm-hmm. Niggas in, you know, Bahama shorts. Yeah, nigga. We our own police, our own government. We got a basketball team. We we winning every year. <laughs> Football team. Education is excellent. So just create your own island. Yeah, just nigga island. world. Just let us just give give us some cement and shit. Like never <laughs> never land. It's just Yeah, just let us go. Nigga land. Let us go. Exodus. Like in the Sounds Bible. Nice. Exodus. And then and it's gonna that's how that's how the history book's gonna go. And then the niggas got fed up in it. <laughs> and then that, they just went away to nigga island. You know, and that, that was Marcus the Garvey shit. And when you die, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on. Nah, maybe we do. That would be nice in a perfect world, man. But you know what? Like, would you rather be anything else than black? Even though with all the stuff we go through and all this? No, I don't know. Know? I don't know. We didn't get a choice in any of it, but I'm just saying, you know? Oh, I love being black, but yeah. I don't I don't like being African-American, though. Right, now. Nah. That's the catch-22, because that's nobody real. owns it. Like, we don't belong to no country. We so, really don't know. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, that's why we can't here. go back nowhere. Like we, th- like all we have is here, and here is fucked up. Man. You see what I'm saying? Like here, don't even like us. So it just feels like you just lost. And you know, that's no matter how nowhere much you is got. home. Like because <laughs> they don't know who you are everywhere. They stop grapples. They get everybody. Yeah. Look, these people on and fraud, even going back to Africa, this, we're not African. Guns. Like so, it's just like it's fucked up. And you know, we don't have nowhere to be. Like we comfortable. We're not comfortable here. It's stressful. Like just off the rip. Well, you know where you come. I mean, you know your own people, at least. You know where you come from. Like, some people don't even have that, you know? Yeah. So we do know where we come from and where we come from in the U.S., but we just... 
I'm just saying it's just like and the whole place where we didn't really we know get to that learn this place don't like history. us like that. Like right. you can feel it when you walk in certain places when you do certain things. Like I don't like that. That's you got you not gotta know how stressful that. That's why you don't let people live with you. Because when you go home, you don't you want to be home. I do. You don't want to feel judged, looked at, talked to, like all that. Like we live in a world like that. The only place we can feel like that is at our home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why we act like that. Because you can't go out and chill. Yeah. Really so safe. the only place we really feel safe, like, but when I go to the islands and stuff, like, the, the it's different because that's why I said people should travel because, like, I go to Belize, the police is fucking flirting. Hey, have a good time. Like, it's not the tension. I'm out here driving my car. I'm getting mad, dog. Like, it's just, it's like, damn, why but are we not, public but enemy it's number not one? everywhere. Like, I, I was in the police station, too, today, and... Dude was cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some of them cool. Like it, I know. Like I mean, that's inside there too. Yeah, because like, you walked in, they but, know you. They need to help you. It's customer right, service. But, but I'm just saying. But in real life, you but know, when we go to Atlanta, shit, and the police black, don't it make you? Feel, it do make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it does. Yeah, because we just started talking to them. Yeah, know, being like, oh lord, here go the law. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You don't want that heavy feeling, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you said, we ain't even got nothing. You still like, mm-hmm. oh shit. <laughs> They'll find something. And you know? I think they should really be strict on police because I don't know what comedian said this, but it was like some jobs you just can't be bad at, like mm-hmm. a pilot. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some jobs you, you just, just can't, like, you know, you fuck up at. And that's the out. police. Yeah. Um, the other egg. So. I'm almost through on it. Nah, you are crazy. You are crazy. <laughs> we got a million. Well, he, and then I'll be shuffling the cards for you. We're going to see. That shit was on point. But anyway. <laughs> So, ladies, have you ever, or gentlemen, mm-hmm. have you ever had acne breakout come to uh, come at the worst possible time? Mm-hmm. Look at me right now. You see mm-hmm. this? Like, boom, 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 boom. I'm just lit up. I know I have. So, we have all had struggles with our skin, and that's why we're excited to partner with Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Apostrophe is a prescription skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. Mm-hmm. Apostrophe connects you with a board-certified dermatologist who will create a personalized treatment plan that is perfectly tailored to your unique skin. Simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz about your skin goals and medical history, snap a few selfies, and your dermatologist will create a customized treatment plan for you. Yes. Okay? And it helps treat acne, and they also can help you with other skin goals, like reducing redness, wrinkles, and even dark spots. Yes, and they really do send you whatever you need. We took our pictures, sent ours in, and she got pills, I got cream, you know. So they really cater to your face and yes. what you need. So. And we liked it, too, because yes. it, it worked on you and it worked mm-hmm. on me. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know, because on these hoes, it's so special, and because we got sponsors, and because we work hard for y'all, you, our listeners, are going to get... Let me see. Say $15 on your first visit with an apostrophe provider. Yes. So when you use our code ODH, okay, Mm -hmm. you will save $15 off your first dermatology visit. Um, And aren't you lucky? Look. (laughs) $15 $15 off. Right. Yes, yes. Make sure. So to get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash ODH and click begin. And then use our code ODH at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $15. Or is it $15? Yeah, $15 Yeah, $15. Off. Oh, okay. No, it says, well, see, right here it says get your first visit for only, oh, for only $5 because it's $20. you are right. $15 off for only $5. Yes, Sorry. yes, yes, yes. So My bad. No, you're getting most of it off. $15 <laughs> off, you're only paying $5. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's a great deal. Make sure you go to apostrophe.com. Um, yeah, you got five on there. ODH. Yes, yeah. yes. And no, it really is good. I, look, I like, I'm finna um, refill mine, so... Yes, and it was work. We love apostrophe. So make sure y'all support apostrophe because when you support them, you also support these hoes. Oh, these hoes. Oh, these hoes. This is what's going on with the cars. You going to read me? Mm-hmm. Or what? Good. You want me to read no, the read people, me. the Scorpios? Or... Oh, girl. No. You going to read the Scorpios? I'm scared. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one? I'll read me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come here. <laughs> Who was Scorpio? Oh, shit. Scorpios ain't no joke, boy. Shit, my father was a Scorpio. I feel like it should be a support group. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like it people that got Scorpio parents should yeah. get an extra <laughs> diploma in life. Because never just, oh, yeah. Lord. He proud of you, though. You so. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's going on? I'll be like, Daddy, What's I love you. On? You should. <laughs> shit. Duh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I gave you my looks and shit. <laughs> like, he just, uh-uh. <laughs> 
I ain't never met somebody that is just want you to. They, he want to be pumped up on, on a daily. Like he would call me in there. I think he wants something. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Get that yearbook under there. <laughs> the yearbook? Why? Because I want, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Open it up. Read it. What's that say? It says, Mr. Wonderful. Oh, my God. Dear Mr. Wonderful. I told oh you. I told you. Keep reading. Keep reading. You are the best thing that happened to me since I came to this school. <laughs> Daddy, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stupid. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Stupid. <laughs> like, yeah, just so you know. I was everything. Just so you know. Oh, need hoes. Okay. Six, yeah, six of wands. Okay. Ooh, ooh. We got the six of wands, which is basically, this is like you doing it big. You know what I'm saying? Like, you been out handling your business. You coming through. Look, everybody in the city cheering for you. Look mm, at you. Well, I got a parade on these hoes? Yes, it's like after doing something okay. to be proud of, you know what I'm saying? You come back and everybody like, we see you, come here, you did that. Mm. All these hoes, I saw you. Shit. You're like, yeah, after I've been working hard, I had to go and do this shit. Come back, they like, you did it. You Aww. did it, little champ. You know what I'm saying? It says that too. And look, wait, you know why you so in tune? Do you remember the last time you read me, right? Mm. You were saying that, it was saying I was going to do some competition, some like some shit, like mm-hmm. shit was going to come my way and I was going to have to, Okay, so this shit says, the Six of Wands is the result of managing to survive the constructive competition and chaotic energy of the Five of Wands pulling through Hmm. with the newfound competence and skills. Hmm. In the uncertain environment of the Five of Wands, your talents were put to the test. Hmm. Your skills were refined through trial and error and fortitude was revealed. See? In that crucible, you created new ways of being in the world and interacting in your family job or wider community. What? So say that you coming back, like, yeah, we I'm saw you. You said you was going to do what you was doing. Mm-hmm. Go to the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Eight, eight of, Pentacles of Pentacles is the work you did and still, I guess, are doing, you know what I'm saying, to keep this up. You know what I'm saying? We can't get a taste of that and then not keep it. She mm-hmm. is. So you got to do something. But it's showing that you work hard on your shit. They working meticulously. See, working very hard, making sure everything is really good. So each time we get better and better. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Don't stay the same. Don't get worse. We got to get better. And it shows you serious about it. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Now, these hoes concentrated. Jeez. <laughs> what he say? What he say? He she says, is. the Eight of Pentacles oh, signifies yeah. hard work. Mm-hmm. The figure in the Eight of Pentacles is working with their nose to the grindstone, hammering out Pentacles, mm. literally making money, <laughs> like an artesian or an apprentice. Mm. <laughs> you are focusing on the task at hand, trusting that in doing this work, you are laying the groundwork for the future. Due to your work now, you will ultimately be able to make big moves and attain more stability and spaciousness in your life. You work skillfully and you are working your way toward the ease of luxury of the Nine of Pentacles. On these hoes. You know what I'm saying? So what's That's the next what I'm one? High Priestess. Okay. I always that should get be at that the card. Thing in the, um, in like, the purple they finna make me ones. feel like I told you I was supposed to be goddamn Uganda Queen. The High Priestess. Shit. High priestess do sit on right her now, down. We had a goddamn man. The niggas bringing us fruit right now. Side to the, and this God little damn. owls, because you know owls don't even sleep. They just, you know what I'm saying? What what they they see at night? And so, that would have you know been me. Saying? They could see it. That would have been me. You'd be like, "Come here, you ain't gonna take a shower." I just, gonna, I like sitting on this throne. I hate getting off. It's just shut <laughs> up, God. But well, you still got a side to it. She don't let people know because you know what I'm saying. You still got it kind of dark, but that owl is know exactly what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They gonna pay attention to all things, but she still is the queen, um, the priestess on her throne, shit, mm-hmm. doing her shit on these hoes. Oh, let me see. The gatekeeper Go knowledge, bitch. See, sitting there. Now, who is That's this nigga? No, <laughs> I see him. Don't even try to hide okay. him. I see this nigga. It's the devil. I know it. <laughs> Which devil? Because so I'm we doing good. I'm on my throne. Here come the niggas. Here come the devil. <laughs> Who is that? And is he got a Capricorn dead, huh? or a Cancer. Dead? You know, you know, well, it could be that or it could be whatever, you know, is your vice, you know, but. The devilish dick. <laughs> But that's him, because you know you're doing too good. You can't be doing Look this. Look at this nigga. You can't sit, be coming through the city this like arrogant this. arrogant nigga sitting on the throne working. with no clothes on. You can't be working this hard. You can't be like... This nigga ain't even got on shorts. His dick hair is covering his dick. I hate these niggas. That's, that's the type of niggas I get. <laughs> you can't be all-knowing and not have a devil come in and try to test you. So you have to pass this test, okay? You're going to be doing good handling everything. Recognize what's good for you and what's not. Recognize what's worth taking a chance on and what's leaving behind or not even looking at again. You know what I'm saying? Or take a chance. You know what I'm saying? But you got to recognize it because this can be the downfall of all of this. You know? Look at this. Look at this. The devil card in this figure is half goat, half man. That's how I get them niggas. Half smart, Mm -hmm. half not man. Just another half. (laughs) 
bitch. Pink confetti. Go just go <laughs> <top>, dig down. <laughs> Shit. It's like the nigga's smart. Anyway, um, Pan was revered. It was a revered god of nature, lust, play, and other pleasures of the flesh, See. such as music and food. In the fourth century, Christian theologians began to demonize Pan, adding goat horns to depict Satan. Wow. In the tarot, the devil retains elements of playful, lusty, vital Pan, but also depicts what happens when materialism gets the best of us. Oh, that's what mm. they say. Yeah. Stuck can't stun on these toes too hard. Mm. <laughs> okay, the devil encourages us to look at what seems inappropriate in our lives, either within ourselves or situations we find ourselves a part of. If you have pulled the devil, you are asked to look closer at your mischievousness Sorry. and sense of play. Are you just being playful or provocative when it comes to rules and bondage? My daddy sent me this card. Are you bringing levity to grave situations, breaking down barriers and unnecessary rules to follow for pleasure and fun? Mm. What vital energy is coursing through you? <laughs> so maybe it's not that devil coming to test you as a dude. But Bitch, stop turning yourself. up. That's yeah, what calm down. Calm down. Cold red. <laughs> no, but... Yeah, it's it. We all have this inner in us, though. Like, yeah. nobody is all angel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all got this side. So sometimes it needs to be recognized so we know where we do need to slow down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And get back on track. Because, you know, we can fall down. We're human. <laughs> you going to get up. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you felt <laughs> you yeah, <laughs> yeah, if that's your daddy, he definitely saying, hey, hey, you know what to do. You're doing good, but you you still. You, 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 yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit, you need that shit. You need that shit. Shit. <laughs> And we're gonna lose some damn weight. He ain't even say, hey, chill. He's yeah. like, stupid. It's stupid. But that's crazy how she's sitting out there, but still got that ass. No, it's saying, come here, you doing good. You doing what you're supposed to do. Just don't still, lose still... it. Just don't lose it. Exactly. Just don't lose it. Be, don't, yeah. Life is about not losing it, y'all. Stay don't in this shit. Don't act arrogant and start saying. Right, yeah. shit. I love chill out. Who's the man? Kiss my car. She said, don't do that. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, what else? Was that it we got for today? Yeah. We did get a, um just an appreciation letter. We appreciate oh, that too from um We love our appreciation letters. Yes. Yeah, so what was her name? Was it mine? Let me see. But we did. She was like, I don't need help. I just wanted to say I like you hoes. <laughs> so these hoes appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Shit. Thank y'all. Um what we got coming up? Turkey Day. Yo, these hoes to see. Monet. Monet Love. Hey, that Precious and Camera. ODH is one of the best podcasts out. Y'all are so underrated. I don't need advice on anything in my personal life. Just want to show y'all some love. Um, I would also like to know where Precious bought her tarot cards and when are y'all going to do live shows? Live shows are coming soon. Um, I don't know which tarot cards she's talking about. Yeah, we got to put out the event brace and just start selling tickets. We are. Don't even trip, y'all. We're going to do live shows soon. Where you? I didn't even see where you was from on there, Monet, but thank you for the compliment. If it was these, it was just a metaphysical store, and that's just a right-of-way di- dick. And the other ones, I just found in some bookstore, but they have all kind of different ones online. You can find. <laughs> I miss my whole mouth. I think <laughs> <laughs> they really do. These so old. I taped them, but they have all different kinds online. Y'all know I got the Afro Goddess one for the women, but you can find them. Just go online and put in tarot cards, whatever kind you're looking for, spiritual, sexual, you know what I'm saying? Um, they have really all kind, comedy ones, you know, just all type of shit. It's really kind of dope once you start looking at it. Look at the Oracle cards, too. And, um, Facts. Um, and look at your nigga phone, too. Ooh. That's not my... <laughs> Imagine the world where they just Since let you. Looking. Where they just like, get my phone. Just pick it up. That's why me. we need more girl hackers. Oh, shit. Rihanna, where you at? When they on the ocean or something. Man. When she the hacker? I just want a hacker so these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers be talking hacker a lot of shit phone. online. Like, hey, I want a show like phone. that. Like, yeah. uh, remember that shit you was talking eight, where five, you really nine, can pull two? Up. Yeah. We should do that like the way they do the, uh, what is it? Uh, Catfish and shit. Here? <laughs> come on, bitch. No. <laughs> what if a little kid come out for real or somebody can't even get up? Where your mom at? That's how mad I am. <laughs> where your mom at? <laughs> Did you see the young Miami song charted on the top 100, girl. Oh, the freak yeah. something. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she was like, yeah, well, yeah. She said something like, I don't know, Trey something really charted or some shit. She was talking to shit, but she really charted on that's these hoes. Because she said she didn't even want to rap. JT was like, bitch, come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Just tell him this shit. This bitch like, what? I don't want to do shit. Well, no, she could. Once I'm mad, I'd be like, fuck this whole comedy Come here, I don't want to do ass. Yeah. <laughs> she don't care. They can kick me out. Kick me out. <laughs> I'm kicking, get kicked out with a win. Oh my God. <laughs> Kick her out. Shit. Fuck it. <laughs> bitch. 
Don't she don't want to do it. Like, I'm glad she doing it because she could just be like, fuck it. Easy. I, man. Like, you know what? Just let her retire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's easy to retire. But it's crazy because now that I'm a comedian and then, you know, you read stories about how comedians, you know, are, really they true. get depressed and shit like that. And it's like, they be telling the stories about, well, comedians are empathetic and they heard a lot of stuff. I, no, I really think, because my depression came from fucking with these other comedians. <laughs> ah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like, ooh, we, we, no, love, for real. we love this shit. Yeah, no, for real. No, until we had to deal with all of y'all. You know what? That is not a lie. No, for real. I was nice to everybody. Yep. The way, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then the way nice the politics go and shit like that, you do this and then, and then now, oh, oh, it's like that? Like, so it's just like, and then you the real hoe too? When you realize it, yes, she is. Yes. Uh-uh. That makes mm. people depressed. Well, that, that makes you be like, ugh, fuck this game. I want to leave, but I don't. I keep calling my name. You know what I'm saying? But ugh, the people here. Right. You make you not want to go out and not want to do nothing. Yeah. But then when we do, shit. <laughs> What do so, we do? Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. what do you really do? Uh-huh. But then it's you owe thing- it to the people that you, you know, and, and to yourself if it's what you really But it's some things in common they need be to get shit. together too because we should be able to, like, like, like have our jokes. We should be able to, it, like, no, copyright them or something. Like, by now, it should be some type of system to where... Even if it vary a, just a touch that yeah, you steal something. That but, is mine. But, I, well, but it's just... Clearly. See, it's just always some shit, y'all, but that's why we just got to find the funny in it and keep trying to go because... Mm-hmm. You show sure right though. Like we used to, I used to be out happy, yeah, willing to help anybody. Yes, yeah, friendly, yeah, friendly and shit. but yeah, but now Let I don't stay at my come house. <laughs> Ooh, okay. now I don't even tell you where I live. <laughs> yeah, she was so nice. To say. So, but yeah, that's how I do you. It taint yeah. you, but you got to try not to let the world taint you. You got to try to stay up, even when they get you down. Shit. Oh, mm-hmm. but you right. That's what it is. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, send your stuff in on these at gmail.com. Tune in every Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, that's just the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back if they won't, okay? If life lasts, we out. We out. Peace.